Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report, as well as Joe Boo's Day Job, as well as Broke Ass Media, and cooking and tailgating with Joe Boo. I am literally all over the map. My whole goal in life is I am 58 years old, okay? And I don't say that to belittle myself. I say that because I've experienced a lot of things. And the great thing about YouTube is this is a way of being able to live on. This is a way of taking the knowledge that I have and spreading it to others. And I enjoy, I, I, I never would have thought that I would enjoy actually talking and doing videos and things. And I'm trying to pass on what I have learned knowledge-wise to you guys. So this channel will probably never be monetized. It probably will never have enough views and things with it, and that's okay. What I'm trying to do is dispel some of the ideas and things that people have about YouTube, let you know things that have worked for me for building my YouTube channels, and um, hopefully let you know what you're getting into. My thing is, I want to be real with you. I want to be real with you. I have one channel that is got 130,000 subscribers on it. We get tons and tons of views. I am over 65 million views on that channel. My original channel um, had about 28,000 subscribers and about five years ago, YouTube cut it down and uh, deleted it for as they put it, spam. Well, YouTube has kind of changed in that time because now they want you to reuse content. They want you to pump out as much content as possible. And so they revived that channel and that channel currently has about 26,000 subscribers with it. And then I have my day job. Now, what I've learned in YouTube is, is this, because it used to be my channel was everything I do, cooking, um, woodworking, Dallas Cowboys, and so on. But YouTube is very micro-targeted. The algorithms look for what you do and share it with other content that's similar. If you're all over the map, if I'm doing stuff on there that's about fixing a roof, it doesn't necessarily go with talking about the Cowboys. Although, although I will say that on my main channel, I have an evergreen video that I never thought would do anything, which is I was literally on top of a roof, seven minute video where I had to patch a spot on my roof. And for whatever reason, this video has gotten like 150,000 views. And still today, even like four years later, it still consistently gets views and is in the top, you know, 20 viewed videos that I have per month. Most of my content is really quick hitting stuff. It's not evergreen because if you find out that Dak Prescott broke his ankle, well, that's only relevant for that time. And so my channel is a little bit different there. What I want you to understand is because like anything out there, you don't always get the correct information. Okay, I have watched over the years every kind of video about how to grow your channel. Things you need to do right now. You know, how I got a million subscribers. And what I'm finding out, the more you look into stuff, and this is what I'm saying, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to poo-poo on self-help channels because this is a self-help channel. But a lot of times, the people who are telling you how to grow your channel that's the only channel that they've grown. They have literally latched on to somebody who is desperate to grow their channel. And a lot of times they'll come up with the seminars and what you need to do and this, that, and the other, which are basically their hook and their thing without actually building a channel like what you may have. One of the things you'll see is how much money I made, you know, doing YouTube. And they make it seem like just open up a YouTube channel, the masses will descend upon you, and you're going to make tons and tons of money. When the reality is, is 
making a sustainable income from YouTube is not that easy. When you think about the YouTubers that make six figures, there's over 60 million YouTube channels. About 2% of them make six figures. That's over 100,000. Now, maybe you're not looking to make 100,000. That sounds really great. But to give you an example, I have my channel, which is Joe Boo's Day Job, which when I was doing the Red Brick House, I was pumping out a video or two a day on it, which has almost 5,000 subscribers, and it's been um, up for about three years. Three years. Three years. And understand, I have other channels that have a lot of followers, okay? A lot, you know, so if I've got a channel that's got 100,000 subscribers, you'll think that a lot of them would move there just because they like what you do. So with this channel, this channel in the lifetime of it has made $6,500. And that's over three years. Let me say that again. That channel has made $6,500 over three years. That comes out to $166 a month. Hmm. Now don't, don't get disappointed here. Don't, don't let that say it's not worth it to do YouTube. What you have to do with YouTube is you have to go into it for the right reasons, okay? If you are going into it and saying, this is going to be my career, understand that very few people can just jump into YouTube and create it as a career. It's not that simple. The thing about YouTube is you have to put it into work. It's almost like being an apprentice where you're going in and you're not going to make any money for a long time. Or when you do start making money, it's going to be like extra money. So the way you have to do this is, is and this is what I say about anybody starting another business, you have to have a basis of taking care of yourself. If you have no job and you say, I'm just going to go ahead and start a YouTube channel you're headed for troubles because now you are trying to, you're under the pressure of having to try and make content that people are going to want to watch and that you got to make money and everything else. And when you're talking about like apartments in the Washington DC area costing two grand and your only source of income is starting a YouTube channel, you're going to be homeless. You need to have a basis of something that's going to take care of your bills whether it's YouTube or it's starting a hobby or craft business or whatever it is, you then are able to relax. You're then able to be able to um, know that you're not going to be homeless. You're not going to be under the pressure because with YouTube, more than anything else, people want to see somebody that's happy, that's feeling good, that they're content with their life. If you're under the pressure of trying to do this, I've got to get this video to go viral so I can pay my rent. It's not going to show up that you're having fun, that your life is good, that, that you know, you're not relaxed. And ultimately, it will take time. And the reason why so many channels fail is because everybody's looking for that instant high, that instant kick, that instant video that's going to make them viral. And it doesn't work that way. The only way that you will succeed in YouTube is by being consistent, by putting things out there, understanding that you may end up getting two, three, four, five views, that it may take, you know, a year or two to get monetized. And understanding that being monetized, yeah, that's great. That means you've gotten you know, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Congratulations, now you've made about $15. Way to go. If that's your sole purpose of YouTube, 
it's going to be hard. I have done YouTube because, again, I wanted to share the knowledge that I had. YouTube, don't get me wrong, has done incredible things for me. More than the money that I've made from YouTube is the relationships and the people that I have met and have become lifelong friends. That is more valuable than any money that you can say that you'll make from YouTube. And at least that's my experience. And so if you're starting this YouTube journey, understand that a lot of things that you're going to see, they're gonna tell you it's really easy, it's really simple. If you just do this one trick, it's going to make it. And the reality is, is yeah, it's if you're doing that trick or watching that, you're helping them to achieve their YouTube journey. But it may not translate to what you're doing. So be you. Put your passion into it. Talk about something that you absolutely positively love and that you know a lot about. And go to it with the attitude that it's not about making money. It's about making connections. And if you do that, the money will follow. And that's the best tip I can give anybody. I can say I've done that where I've given advice to people about doing YouTube and they don't necessarily listen and do the consistency and understand that a lot of times you're going to be putting out content and you're not getting the views that you want, but you still have to keep doing it. And then they say, ah, I'm going to get away from it. And then they have to st they come back and they try again. But it's not consistent enough that YouTube understands who you are and what you're trying to achieve. I've done the same thing with my friend Brian Green. Brian, last year going to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, his goal was to get to 300 subscribers. He just wanted to get to 300. And I'm giving you the same advice I gave to him. And now his channel, a year later, has over 30,000. So take it for what you will. And I hope that your YouTube journey is a successful one. Have a good one.